Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck and Pioneer. Today we're looking at Selesnia Angels. Selesnia Angels is a life gain based aggro midrange deck that uses synergies between various angels and life gain cards. First, the enablers. Bishop of Wings, Righteous Valkyrie, and Lunark Veteran gain life when other creatures enter, and Giada makes angels enter with plus one counters and taps for white mono to cast angels. And second, the payoffs. Resplendent Angel and the Book of Exalted Deeds create angel tokens if you gain enough life in a single turn, with Resplendent able to pump and lifelink your team. Useful Valkyrie gets pumped when other angels enter, and Speaker of the Heavens can create angel tokens if you're at a high enough life total. Collected Company is the reason the deck is playing green mana and helps the way Coco usually does, by spitting out multiple creatures at instant speed with a higher combined mana value than Coco costs. The deck also runs a few removal spells to interact with, including Skyclave Apparition and Portable Hole. A notable combo is Book of Exalted Deeds plus Mutavault. Book turns any angel into Platinum Angel, making you unable to lose and your opponents unable to win. This would normally be fine since the opponent can just kill the angel. However, Mutavault will stop being a creature at the end of turn while retaining the Platinum Angel ability. If your opponent doesn't have instant speed removal for Mutavault and no way to interact with lands, the game is over. Selesnia Angels isn't the fastest deck, but it's the bane of other aggro decks being especially well able to prey on mono red. Where it's lacking is in disruption for big mana and combo decks like Lotus Field, although it can always fall back on the book Mutavault combo. It's important to know which decks can and can't beat the combo. Most can't, but some can. For example, Mono Green Ramp can beat it since they can grab Meteor Golem with Karn and blow up Mutavault. The sideboard should contain additional removal, protection for your creatures, and hate pieces like Archon of Emeria to deal with Phoenix and Lotus Field. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Selesnia Angels. I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.